All right. Well, I want to thank Jen for having me on. I appreciate you, Jen. And uh, we'll jump right into how to, how to get business builders. So this is something that we've been doing here for the last couple months and we've been having really good success with, um, with this process. What we do is everybody has those, uh, those pesky names lists that we write all these people's names down and then nothing ends up happening with them. And so um, what we decided to do is we decided to start to talk to people not based upon circumstances, because when we when we base um, when we base an opportunity on a circumstance, when the circumstance changes, that person's ability to stay um, to stay focused on what they wanted to do, their why, was always based on a circumstance. So then they switch that they switch that opportunity. Okay. So let me give you an example. If we go and we say, hey. Um, I know that you'd be great at this opportunity because you would, you, you have your, um, you have the ability to connect with people. And I know right now you guys are struggling a little bit financially. Well, what happens if it's based on that circumstance that now they don't have an issue financially later, um, they are, they get to a point where they get comfortable in doTERRA or their husband gets in another job or they get a second job or whatever. And now they don't have an issue financially. What ends up happening is they then don't have their why to continue. Their why was based on, I don't have enough money. So now they have enough money. So now they don't continue. Or um, I, I know you love to help people. Well, in their mind, they, they're helping people might be three or four or five or six close relationships that they're helping someone um, with their health. So they start doTERRA essential oils. They, they're able to help those four or five people. And now uh, in that circumstance, in their mind, they're okay. And they're not going to continue forward because they're helping people uh, and they've hit the limit of what they wanted to achieve. And so it was based on a circumstance. So now it won't move forward, um, to get to the full potential of that person. Now, what, I realized was is that character doesn't change. When you look at who you are at the core, you as a person don't change um, very quickly over time, okay? You, you, saw, you stay somewhat the same. Um, and that means that if you're honest now, chances are you're gonna be honest in 10 years from now. If you're loyal now, you're gonna be loyal 10 years from now. If you're... Um, if you're motivated, you're probably going to be motivated 10 years from now. If that is who you are at the core of your being, that's what it becomes. And so what, what, I've, what we've done is we've created a, uh, a process with our names list to actually go through and evaluate people we know. I'm just going to pull up this uh, document here for a second so that I can make sure I, I wrote all this out so that I don't miss any steps for you guys. Okay, so what we, what we do is we take our names list and we write it out, our 100 or 200 or 300 names, okay? And then what we do is we go through that names list and we identify the five people that we want to do the business with out of everybody in the world. Okay. And just instinctively, that's who we want to do this. That's who we want to do this business with. Okay. Um, and then what we do from there is we establish a script for those five people. So we don't just rush out and we found our five and we're really excited. So we're going to go and just talk to all of them. No, we're going to pull back. We're going to be very scripted because intention, intention in what you do is what helps you accomplish what, what you need to accomplish in life. Okay. Okay. Um, so as, as you become more intentional about what you want to do and how you want to accomplish it, that is what's actually going to help you find business builders. So if you're, if you're focused on selling a product, you will find product users. If you're focused on searching out builders, 
then you will find builders because your mind will go to those conversations and that's what they'll start to, and that's how they'll start to interact with people. Okay, so there's, this is important. This script, or this process does not work through text, through email, through voicemail. It does not work through any of those mediums. It has to be person to person or on a phone with the other person live on the phone on the other side. It has to do that. It has to be through that process. And it can, and this, this script I found only works for your warm market. So like Jen said, like five, what'd you say, Jen, five out of the six of your builders or people you knew and were friends or family with before this. Yep. Okay, that, that, that runs true for me as well. These are the people who are my builders are the people who I have had, who I've had a relationship with before doTERRA. And so as you go out and you look for these five people, five people, um, you're going to make sure that you have a relationship with them, a rapport. Okay. So I've, what I've done is I've created a sample script that once um, we post this, to Jen's page, I'm going to put the sample script underneath it, Jen, if, if that's okay, you can just shake your head if that's okay, that way you don't have to go under in, into unmuting yourself. So I'll post this script underneath it, and it's, it's only an example script, because you have to understand like emotional intelligence and social awareness when you use this script, okay? It's not something you can just read off and hope that it works. Because, yeah. Um, the screen's black. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Can you see me now? No. Can anybody, is everybody else's screen black for me? Or is it just one person's? Yes, it's black. Mm. I can see you. I'm able to see you, but I'm not seeing your screen if that's what you're trying to show. No, I, I, I'm not showing any, I'm not sharing any documents right now. I'm just talking and then I will share the, I will share the script on the post that Jen's going to post to this recording on Facebook. Okay. Um, okay. So I've created the script, but I've created five principles around the script so that as you write your own, as you write the script, as you see what I've done as an example, it becomes your own. Um, okay, so um, Jerrica said, if, uh, if you can't see me while I'm talking, chances are other people are unmuted. And so anytime there's sound that comes from them, it pulls them up on other people's screen. Just heads up on that. Um, so if you aren't muted, you can mute yourself if you don't want to have that happen. Um, okay, so there's five principles of, to gaining a builder. One, you have to have rapport with this person. Two, you have to create a vision for this person. Three, you have to create some kind of scarcity with it. Four, you want to create qualifications for the individual. Now those qualifications, when you base them on circumstances, again, that's where the circumstances change. But if you base it on the character of that person, the character of the person is not going to change. The why or the basis of why they're doing the business isn't going to change. And so that's your qualifica qualification and then a strong invitation. So to give you an example of this, if I was going to, sorry, if I was going to call one of my friends and I was going to talk to them about this, this is, this is how I would talk to them. I wouldn't, I would not do um, small talk because it creates a bait and switch um, situation in their mind. What happens is if you call them up and you're like, Hey, how's your family doing? How's everything doing in life and business and all that stuff? Oh, by the way, the reason I was talking to you, I really called was this. So it negates everything you've just done and it actually brings the level of trust down. But if you call the person and you already have trust and rapport with them, then you can talk to them and say something to the effect of, Hey, it's, it, you know, it's good to talk to you. Um, I'm just calling to, I, I have a, I have something I wanted to talk to you about and it's been on my mind for, for a little while. I was wondering if you'd be willing to hear me out. 
And then that, what that does is it breaks down some of the wall and it allows them to let you in and, and give you some, um, give you some time with them and they become more submissive to what your message is going to be or humble towards you, what your message is. And then what I would say is I would create a vision. I'd create a vision of what I'm trying to do. So um, I would call and I'd say something to the effect of, Hey, the reason I'm calling, um, I'm calling you today is I'm doing something in my life that's giving me more purpose and peace than in any other time in my life. My business is skyrocketing right now. Um, and I'm taking people who want to be a part of something bigger than themselves and helping them take who they are and what they are capable of to their highest potential. I'm excited for where we're heading this year. Okay. So you're creating this big vision. I realized that, that business is more important or I realized that business, um, is more than just having the right product at the right time with the right technology. I realized that the biggest part of a business is who is on board, who's your lead, who, who, who is part of your mastermind and your leadership group in, in, in creating your culture. Um, and then I go into, I go into the scarcity aspect and I'll say something to the effect of, I just have been thinking and racking my brain about who I want on my leadership team. And I wrote over a hundred names and I'm only going to work with five people. So that's your scarcity. You have the option to work with over a hundred people, but you're only going to choose five. So I, I have over a hundred people on my list. I'm only going to be working with five. You're one of the first people that I've called on that names list. So it kind of gives them a, they feel special as well. There's scarcity, but they're, you're also making them feel special at the same time. You're on my top, on the top of my list. Now, this is where you go into your talking points of the specific attributes of that person. Okay. So for example, if they're honest, so I'm talking to you now because you have the personality traits that I know it takes to create the proper atmosphere on a team. Um, throughout the time that I've gotten to know you and that we've become friends throughout the years, I recognize in you the ability to be super honest. Okay. And then you go into a, sh uh, a short uh, story of when you realized that was true about that person and you totally saw that in them. And so, for example, I put, I you know, um, the ability to be honest. Remember that time we could have gotten away with something by lying, but you stood there tall and brave and told the truth. I'm looking for people that have that kind of honesty to be part of my leadership team. That is something um, I can't teach people. They just have to have it. You have it. It is part of who you are, and I respect that about you. So as you go through these, I usually pick three attribute traits that I want on my leadership team. And then I will write, I will script this out, but then I will just use this script as a reference. I won't read it directly on the phone. It needs to be a real conversation with social awareness and, and emotional intelligence. So if this, somebody's giving you a signal like, I didn't accept your vision or I don't have rapport with you anymore, you have to be aware of those things so that you can go back and try to recreate rapport, recreate a vision, whatever it is. And in some cases, you may just abandon altogether once you start to read this script and you realize this person's not ready for what you have to offer. And if they're not ready, uh, based on your social awareness and your emotional intelligence, then you need to pull back. But if you can go through this, uh, what we have had is we've had a lot of people say things like, hey, I really appreciate um, I'm flattered. I really appreciate what you said there. I, I you have realized more about who I am than I even realized before. Because in the world, don't we focus a lot on what people aren't instead of what people are? And this is, a, this is focusing on what people are. And as you focus on what people are, you can build to their strengths. So just like in, you know, just like in public school and private school and charter schools, a lot of times we focus with our children on what they aren't and teaching them how to become better at what they aren't and focusing on what they're good at and encouraging them to what they're good at. And so we've created this pattern in our life of seeing what people need to work on to become the best doTERRA rep 
um, or business builder ever. But what we need to really focus on is what they're good at and help build on that and show them that we know what they're good at and what, that we can help them reach the highest potential possible. So I choose three things, three attributes, honesty, loyalty, um, determination, hard work. Those are characteristics of someone. So I pick something like that and then I create a small little clip of a short story behind that. So I choose three so that you would go through three and then you'd go through a strong invitation. Um, and my invitation goes something like this. Hey, um, at the very end, I'll say, like I mentioned before, I'm looking for leadership, a leadership team that makes up the character and the mastermind of my group. I'm really trying to, I'm, we're going to, we're creating a culture of strong individuals to lead this team. And I want you to be a part of that. I've set aside two, uh, two, two hour spots next week. It's going to take about a half hour for me to run through the details of what this opportunity means for you. Um, would Tuesday or Thursday between two and five or two and four work on either of those days? Um, that's one invitation that you can make that's a strong invitation or you could make an invitation that goes something like this. You could start with that and then say, hey, what are three times next week that would work for you to get on a call with me for a half hour to review what, what the details of doing this business would look like? And you want to create, you want to, you want to create some stability and some control of your schedule next week. And if they pick three times and those three times don't work for you, it's okay. Set it up for the next week. Also, if they're interested in doing the doTERRA as a business with you after this conversation or even during this conversation, please do not go into the details right away. Okay. You have to give it them time between the time you plant this seed and the time you deliver on the details to let it grow in their mind. Like, what is this going to look like building with Scott or building with Jen or building with Kathy? Okay. You're going to have, you're going to want them to envision what this looks like, how this is going to go, how you guys are going to change the world, how you're going to mastermind and, and help people better their health and better their finances and improve their lives. And you need to let them have a week of that. And then when you go and you talk to them about the business, you just assume that they're going to do the business. And then that's where you go into your duplication system where it's names list and business overview and things like that to, to work into it. Um, I'll open it up for some questions right now. That's, uh, that's what we are doing and we're having great luck with it. I'm not going to get into the duplication process after that because everybody's duplication is a little different. Some people use share success, some people use edge, edge, uh, edge success. And so it's just going to be different, but I'll open it up for questions. If anybody has questions about this process. All right. Anything else you wanted me to cover, Jen? No, I think that was perfect. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank yeah. you. Thanks so much for being on, Scott. It's always fun to hear, you know, how, uh, how other people build their business and how they approach their builders. And I think there's a lot of value in what Scott says. And it's always fun to listen to uh, my builders talk about what they do because I learn from them and I'm able to implement those same things. You know, a lot of times we're so afraid to approach the people that we know that we don't. And it's as simple as having a, a great conversation. And Scott gave us some great tips and tools for how to reach out to them. So thank you so much. And um, we will post the recording later. So you guys can, can listen to it again or share it with some of your builders. So thank you for being on, Scott. Yep. No problem. Thank you.